they say life is a long long journey with a lot of positives and negatives that the dream of a thousand mile will always start with a step the life of serving god has been a dream of many many young girls who joined the PRR sisters welcome as we explore and celebrate with them their first novitiate stage of sisterhood good afternoon everyone welcome to PRR congregation i'm sister maria yulia prr belongs to the daughters of our lady queen of the holy rosary congregation The day started with a lot of excitement and everyone seemed happy and ready to celebrate. We were warmly welcomed to celebrate with them the Holy Mass celebrated by Reverend Father Leo from the Holy Spirit Parish Langas. So leave all that behind. What is taking you away, stealing you away from God's presence, okay? Leave that behind. Recognize them and they leave that behind. That is exactly Jesus was reminding them. If usi shughuli ke kupata nini pesa nyingi, okay? Ama fame, ama cheyo, acha tu hayot, okay? What is that important in this journey in novitiate is that you totally depend on God. The Reverend Father shared a powerful motivating someone about benefits of dedicating our lives to God. He further encouraged the Christians to keep living holy lives. When you detach yourself from everything in this world, God will be is the one who is going to be attached to you. And God is going to be your everything. And uh, people can inspire you. Saints can inspire you. Read as many as stories of the saints because they will give you direction to come closer to God to have this and uh, constant eternal relationship with the God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. After the beautiful sermon, it was time for the nine novitiates to proceed with their first stage. The regional superior calls upon the names of the candidate and candidates are invited to come forward. Postalan Faith Ndam Buki. I am. Postalan Esther Wanjiro. I am. Postalan Juliet Nekesa. I am. Postalan Justina Musao. Dear Postulants, please tell me your wishes. Reverend Sister Maria Luciani Piara, I humbly request you to accept my wish to be in the novitiate of this congregation of Filia Regina Sacratissima Rosari. What motivates and promote your wishes and choices? I have committed myself to follow Jesus. I am ready and willing to dedicate myself to God and to my people as religious. Therefore, I humbly request you to accept me to be a novice in order to know Jesus and to learn more on how to follow his footsteps. May the Holy Spirit strengthen your faith and His grace be stopped upon you, 
so that you will be faithful to your commitment which you have started. You will be uni united in union with your Creator and Savior. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for our postulants. May He grant them blessings and strength through the intercession of all the saints. Blessings, the candidates proceeded to the changing room to change into new and beautiful attire. They were called out to their new names. In the book of Revelation, our Redeemer said, Whoever wins the battle, we give a new name. Today, my beloved daughters, you have achieved your objective aim in following Jesus Christ by bearing your old way of living, and now you have dressed on a new way of life in Christ in the congregation of Filia Regina Sacrati Sivarosari. Therefore, I now give you a new name, which will you give you protection from heaven. May the Holy Spirit assist you in the battle, and may you eventually become Peteris in heaven. Amen. Postulan Faith Dambuki. From now on, you will be called Sister Maria Faith PRR. Postulan Esther Wanjiro. From now on, you will be called Sister Maria Elsie PRR. Postulan Maureen Akech. From now on, you will be called Sister Maria Charity Pera. After the end of the Holy Mass, we moved into the second part of the program where we listened to various encouragement 
messages from the beloved priests, brothers and sisters. A lot of speakers talked of the importance of following Jesus Christ. I'm called uh, John Zebedayo from this parish. A day like this reminds me when I was in Camilla some years back before I requested a break when we were receiving little Red Cross. So, sisters, hongereni sana na nyinyi nyote ambao umekuja hapa kusherekea siku hii ya ma sisters wetu hapa ni mfano mwema ya kwamba tunazidi kupata watenda kazi we are continuing getting new laborers in the garden of God and uh, we hope things will be best. So, <laughs> I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate the novices. Novitiate is the best time, you know, the best time for you to rediscover yourself and to have time to discern about your life. For me, novitiate was the best time, you know. If I look at my formation, novitiate, it required the best time. I did my novitiate in Botswana in the year 1998. So it has been some years back. So to now congratulate Walter and Kumbuke Ku Chiambea na Kumbea Wazazibia na Kumbea the other sisters. So congratulations. Tunafraha kubwa sana kuona hawa sisters wetu wakienda kiwango kingine. Tunaoba sana mungu awazidishie ngufu na uwezo na diposa waweze kuendelesha kazi hii ambaye aliweka dani yao. Na tunashukuru sisters wakati ambapo tunaona mshirikiana pamoja nasi katika kazi ya kueneza ijili. Katika hali hii call sister Sweta belonging to the Apostolic Carmel Congregation. Uh, okay, we, some of us have lessons. Now sister Pauline is here with us. So on behalf of our congregation Apostolic Carmel, congratulations novices for this step that you have taken. We pray for your perseverance in the congregation of PRR. May God bless you. And as you prepare for this novitiate period, may Mother of okay, for us, Mother of Carmel, Mother of Holy Rosary, uh, that is our mother for all of us, may guide and protect you. May God bless you all. Have a nice day. My name is Joseph Ding Ngoc Hien. I'm from Vietnam. Uh, I'm uh, belong to SVD congregation, so I uh, came here seven uh, months ago, and um, I'm uh, here for our pastoral one year in Langas Parish, and uh, I'm very pleased when uh, uh, I'm here for mass where I slept in, uh, for nine novices, and um, I uh, wish all the best. And uh, uh, God bless you, uh, protect you, guide you in uh, as our religion. Thank you so much. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in Him. Amen. Amen. Okay. This uh, my name is uh, Celestino da Silva. I'm from Angola. I'm also SVD. And uh, I'm also glad to be here and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate our nine sisters. And uh, Father, Father Leo said that we are all one family here. And uh, it's good to tell you that uh, you come to share the language of love. That is what our first missionary, one of the first missionaries, St. Joseph Renato met say you know that uh, the language that uh, men and women understand is that is the language of love so may you come to share this language of love among you and among the people you come to meet and also as we are one family maybe also be united in christ be united in god and uh, as a uh, joseph and may also say may you be as you are uh, many faces, but only one, only one heart. So, on the ready, son. We are blessed. We have many priests today. And I want to invite all the priests 
you can say something to us because today is our special day. We are also special. So I hand over this mic to, okay, you have the blue one, but I know you can tell your confederate to start. Thank you very much and most welcome. God is good all the time. I take this opportunity to congratulate all nine novices for taking the bold step and stepping into novitiate. And we assure our prayers to you. Uh, may God always bless you and Holy Spirit may enlighten you. Mother Mary may pray for you always. Um, my name is Father Peter Pinto, SVD. I am in Kimumu Parish. Thank you and God bless. What I have to say, I shared it with you in our homily. Mine is to wish all the nine novices all the best and our prayers are with you. Thank you. Tum si fiesu Christu. Naimana milele. Tum si fiesu Christu. Yeah, I had a time to be with the nine for three days and we shared a lot. But I was touched with what uh, Father Leo has said the three points very very important grow in your relationship with God have a time with the Lord and they mentioned very well when Jesus visited the two sisters Mary was there listening to the Lord while Martha was very busy and Jesus said Martha Martha you are taken up with so many things Mary has chosen a part that will never, never be taken away from her. That is cultivating intimate relationship with the Lord. And when you are close with the Lord, remember the message of Mary, do what the Lord tells you. And also he has said, radical change to become a better person. When you are with the Lord, you know you have the gifts of the Holy Spirit and also uh, fruits of the Holy Spirit will show in you joy, uh, peace, self-control, gentleness. You'll be like Paul who said, it's no longer I living, but Christ living in me. And Paul was really close to the Lord. Who will separate me from the love of Christ? Nothing. So let us have that to be very close to the Lord and the Lord is going to take control of you. And the other point he has said is you are now belong to a larger family. Not only your relatives, mom and dad, but wherever you will be, you will be a mother to all. Take that one. I like those points which Father Leo, you know, stressed during Mass. Very, very, very important. So I wish you the very best. And the God who has started the good work in you may continue. Asante sana mungu bariki. Time. Sure, it's great to be here. I am Father David Kimayo, working in Katarat Parish, and I've been requested to represent the parish, the pastors, the novices, on their behalf. And uh, I'm not in the parish priest of the novices, but it happened that we come from the same parish with Sister. Maria, yeah, Maria, yeah, we get used to. Uh, I was sent by the parish priest who is away and the uh, assistant at the barrio, so he called me to represent them. So on their behalf of all of your pastors, we congratulate you, Bongesi Sana. Perhaps what can we say? Perhaps because you are daughters, we will just tell you that say the words of the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your So that is what we can give to you. The journey has started and we wish you all the best. All the best. And especially in our prayers. Lastly, be immersed, be consumed by the charism of PRR. It is the charism of Christ. And when you have immersed yourself in that, I tell you, God will use you. I liked the, the vessels that you are wearing. And I was really touched by this, what we call this? Tread, isn't it? What is it used for? To carry what? Yes, Chakula. You know, and it, what was kept here, what was put here? I tell you. It is wonderful. So you are that vessel. That vessel. Imagine the vessel you are that will be used as food. So really take care of the vessel in you. And God is going to bless you and especially in your apostolate. Pongesin sana mungu wa bariki. I can't miss mass and miss night. So anyway, I have come to say congratulations to our sisters who are joining the mission. And I know you are this far because of God's grace. Okay? Yeah, by God's grace. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, now that I'm late, I'm not saying much. Just to say Pongezi and may God bless you. So, so. Thank you. Thank you for this. Later on, we had a hair cutting ceremony and the nine novitiates could no longer hide their joy. They danced in joy together with their parents and other Christians. <laughs> parents were not left out either. They had time to celebrate and advise the daughters on various choices to make in life. <laughs> Nitaenda bure na nilirudi bure. Ni nilipewa eh nili, nilikuja bure na naenda bure. Sasa ni hivyo. Msifikirie hata kama sisi ni eh, wazazi. Msifikirie ati oh hata tutaenda na ile mali tuko naye. Afadhali nyinyi vile mnaomba. Lakini sisi tuko na matatizo mingi kwa vile tunapitia hii, tunapitia hii, tunapitia hii. Tunas, 
wana pendeza na wamekubali kufanya na Yesu hata mimi ningekuja lakini mungu ana asante Our congregation was founded in Indonesia back in the year 1958 by Bishop Gabriel Manek SVD and the co-founder Sister Antrida SSPS. I'm very happy again to share with you where we are in the world. We are present in Indonesia in East Timor, in Italy, in Belgium, in Canada, in Kenya, and in Ethiopia. The nine novices, they are now joined or entry to the novitiate stage of our congregation. The first one year will be canonical year when they will become closer to know God and also do the self cultivation. They don't do mission outside the formation house. They will be accompanied by their novice mistress and other formatters team. I was inspired with the life of sisters, how they live to serve the poor, the sick and the needy. And this is through going to seminars, that is when I saw the sisters and I was really encouraged and moved to be a sister. And I am really happy to be a PRR sister as their charism is to participate in Christ's mission to serve the poor, the sick and the needy. I'm Ms. Sanjoroge. I'm here as a representative, as a parent to Esther Wanjiru, to encourage her through this journey as a PRR sister. I'm so happy today she has made it, at least for her first presentation. We are praying God and we continue praying and encouraging her by the end of the day, she makes through all the sessions. I'm a happy parent because these days it's hard for people to accept the call and I'm happy she has, she's committed to the call. I encourage other parents also to encourage, to encourage our daughters, 
so that they may join different congregations to serve the church. Yeah. The PRR is a congregation that is aimed to nurture young girls to follow the life of Jesus Christ and our Mother Mary. Feel blessed and welcome to visit them anytime. God bless you. Masai Logan Ken, Lenskins Productions. you.